here I'm in my typical course page. It's got topics format and you can see all the topic headings. If I go into this, I've unchecked this here, used the false section name, because if that's ticked, then the section name will be topic one, two, three, four. So I've unchecked that and I've put the section name in there. You could put an image or a description down here, but I've chosen to leave that blank. I haven't got too many images on this page, so there won't be a problem with opening the page anyway. All I've got is an image here in the side block and an HTML block, and I'm using the course menu block. But under the edit settings, I've chosen this option here, show one section per page, instead of the default one, which is show all sections per page. So I've just chosen that one, which has the following effect. If I turn the editing off, you'll see that what it does is it just shows the topic as a summary. So it gives the heading. You can click on this heading to get to the topic. And it gives you a summary of what you find in that topic. Plus it gives you a progress report if you're using progress monitoring for the course. If I click on terms, then only that topic shows. And I can get back to my course by clicking down here. And that's why the course menu is quite handy using this display method in that you can get to any of the topic. You don't have to go back to the course page to see what else is available. As you can see from the layout of the page, it's a good idea to have very little written up here because otherwise it'll take too much of the course page and require that the student scrolls down far too much. Here's another course. I've put the course menu on the right. And as you'll see, it's one of those Moodle courses where you've got to really scroll all the way down. Lots of images, which is nice and attractive, but will take a long time with a slow internet connection for that course page to open. So again, under the course layout, I've chosen show one section per page. And when I turn my editing off, we'll see what the students see. There you go. Just a quick summary. As a teacher, I can see which ones are hidden. And the students can either use these links here to get to the topics or use the course menu. The main advantage of this option is that the course page will open very quickly. Here the teacher has used the course menu on the left to give him more space on the right. And when we go down, you can see what he's done is he's included an image in the summary section of each of the topics. So it looks pretty cool. If I turn my editing on and have a look at that, let's go down to one of these smaller ones. So if I edit this topic heading, you can see use default section has been unchecked. All right, so that's been taken off. The heading's been put in there and an image has been put here. So with the editing off, we can see what the students see. They just see the title, the image, and a little summary. And then the course menu allows them to get to any topic. What's also great about this course is that all that's in this space here is the course heading. So if I go to one of these topics, then I get a nice little heading here. I get all the items. And at the top, I've just got a reminder of what course I'm in. And it doesn't take up too much space.